Hello everyone and welcome to the hands-on demo on Amazon EMR Elastic Map Reduce. So in this demo we will create an S3 bucket for input and output data. We will launch an EMR cluster. We will prepare and upload a Spark job. We will submit and run the Spark job on the EMR cluster. We will monitor job progress and view results. We will test the whole setup and finally we will clean up all the resources. So this is the demo overview. We have EMR cluster which is running, which will be running on a single EC2 instance. That single EC2 instance needs some kind of IAM role to communicate with S3. S3 will contain input data, output result and the Spark job which is a kind of a Python file. So first step is to create S3 bucket. So I'll copy the bucket name. I am at AWS console home. I will search for S3. So click on S3, create bucket and paste the bucket name. So the bucket name is universally unique. So if you are trying out this demo and some other student is also using the same bucket name, make sure you add some random numbers at the end. Click on create bucket. Next I will create a folder, scripts folder and this will contain my uh, Spark uh, application program. So I will click the fold, uh, bucket first and uh, bucket is empty now. So click on create folder, paste the folder name, click on create folder. So this is the spark job uh, uh, program and first I will show you the data. So this is how the data looks like. So we have category, product, price, quantity and date. So what we are doing, uh, we want to find the based on the category uh, what is the highest uh, uh, which category has the maximum price so it will give me the top five so first it will create multiply product uh, sorry price and quantity it will get a total sale and then uh, based on the category it will add all these total sales and then it will arrange in the uh, descending order from top to bottom so this is how the data looks like and this is my spark program so what i am saying create a session spark session then uh, input uh, take the input data which i just showed you sample data.csv and then uh, group uh, uh, group uh, uh, the data frame by category first then sum uh, first mul multiply price and quantity then do a sum and create an alias total sales and then order by total sales in descending order and finally output uh, the result to this output dot results this is also same s3 bucket and this s3 bucket is same and it will write in parquet file which i will showcase how to read that parquet file so what you can do you can copy the whole script and just save this file with the exact same name so let's say i am i have opened visual studio code i remove the whole data and paste it and this is my uh, spark program now next i will upload this file to s3 bucket in the scripts folder so go to scripts folder which i we have just created click on upload and add files i will copy the uh, take the sparkjob.py file and click on upload so the file is uploaded next is to create an input folder which will contain our data so i'll close this and uh, go to the parent bucket and click on create folder paste the folder name create folder and click on input now I will upload the file so what you can do you can copy the whole uh, uh, content of the file click on copy save this file so make sure the file name is same save it so i have saved it as sample data.csv now click on upload so i am at input in input folder add files sample data.csv click on upload so our s3 bucket is ready now we'll create a emr cluster so that cluster name will be emr demo cluster search for emr and I will open this in a new tab click on create cluster I will paste the cluster name 
so you will see many application bundle uh, default is spark interactive which comes with all this uh, software uh, Levi, hadoop jupiter hive and spark so you can select the some other application bundle like core hadoop flink so uh, the software will change so depending on your business requirement you can choose an appropriate bundle or you can go with the custom also but in this case i'll just choose this default spark interactive and amazon linux uh, release and uniform so this is important cluster configuration so i'll just go with the default primary i will just choose one m5.xlarge so this will cost you some money because there is no free tier in this case and i don't need core uh, uh, ec2 instance so i will uh, remove this so what i can do is uh, remove instance group so this will remove the task uh, instance group and then click remove instance group so now i will have just one single ec2 instance which will which is of type primary and i'll keep the rest all settings as default ebs root volume and networking everything is default steps i will add step is the way how you submit your job to the spark cluster or emr cluster and just select uh, emr service role because it needs a service role so just select create a service role and under ec2 instance profile for amazon emr so ec2 instance profile are like im roles and these im roles are required by ec2 instances to talk to aws services so in this case i will say create an instance profile so this will create an im role and because there is a bucket which it needs access so i can say browse s3 and make sure you select the bucket which you have created for the demo so i'll choose that bucket so that it will give appropriate permissions and this ec2 instances can should be able to read and write to this particular s3 bucket so i'll click on add so now there are two buckets one is used for logs and one for input output and your uh, spark job and that's all click on create cluster so the cluster status is starting and this may take around 5 to 10 minutes so i'll pause the video and come resume when it's the status is waiting or ready so after around 10 minutes the uh, cluster is ready and it is in the waiting status waiting status means it is waiting for some job to be submitted and if you go to the instances uh, tab you will see uh, which ec2 instance are part of this particular cluster so this is one and i can check out that same information if i go to ec2 so i'll search for ec2 and open this in a new tab and click on instances which are running and herein i will see the uh, ec2 instance which is part of emr cluster so we have seen all this configuration and we have given so after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes and remember we have given this particular uh, s3 bucket uh, to be a part of instance profile and we have checked out the ec2 instance and there are some user interfaces which are available so if i go to the emr cluster uh, so you can click on spark history server So this is loading user interface for Spark History Server, and same way you can click on Yarn Timeline Server and Test UI. So you will see a pop-up, and you just approve the pop-up so that it will open in a new tab on your browser. So it says, uh, make sure you allow the pop-ups for this site. So preferences. Allow pop-ups from US East one. So I'll close this and so this is the UI for test and for your application history and the third one will be is the Spark history server and the Yarn uh, timeline server. So anyway, once I submit an application, it will become uh, it will add more value. Like uh, we don't have any application running. And this is for history server for Spark. And if you have any test uh, DAGs, okay. So next we'll do a EC2 instance connect. So in case you want to uh, directly make some changes to your EMR cluster, you can also connect via EC2 instance connect. 
so for that you just have to open uh, the firewall port in your security group so security group is like a firewall so make sure you add your ip so you can add your specific ip but in this case i will just use this particular uh, everywhere so that i can connect with browser based ec2 instance connect so what i can do uh, select the ec2 instance and click on security and under security groups i will open this in a new tab click on edit inbound rules and click on add rule so first will be uh, ssh so click on ssh and here select my ip so this is a secure way so if you are connect connecting from your local machine but for this demo i'll just say from everywhere because i'll be connecting through browser based ec2 instance connect so i'll just say anywhere so i'll just add these two rules and click on save rules now you can connect to your ec2 instance emr cluster so click on connect connect to ec to the instance and so for emr cluster the username will be hadoop and click on connect so you are able to connect and and you will see emr so this is uh, emr cluster and this is how it looks like if you have a regular ec2 it will show something like ec2 or amazon linux or something else so we are able to connect and now we'll submit a job so job it's called as step so step is basically submitting some kind of a spark job or hadoop job so i'll call it my spark app so what you have to do is go to the emr cluster and click on steps and click on add step make sure you select spark application paste the name of your app and deploy mode will be cluster mode and then where is the your python spark job so you have to uh, basically browse to your s3 bucket and go to the scripts and select the spark job.py and that's all rest all settings are default and click on add step so now this uh, job is submitted and it is pending so if you just click refresh it will start running in a few seconds or a minute so after a minute or two the job is successfully completed so we have added the step and uh, job is successfully completed so this is screenshot i tried before and i did not give right permission so it failed but uh, in this case uh, Uh, it it completed uh, immediately so there were no issues so you can run as it is you can check out all the history and all so now if i close uh, this particular uis you should be able to see the history and all so if i go to the properties and now if i click on spark history server and i will click on yarn uh, also so actually we have not given anything test related because we are using yarn so there are no records and here is uh, for the the other one uh, for the yarn timeline server we are seeing so i'll close dag uh, this one test dag and here you can see the spark job which we have submitted and in the spark spark history server you should see the application so you can uh, download the event logs and you can see uh, all the different stages so these are the different stages of one single uh, job so we have seen this and finally we'll check out the results in s3 bucket so what you can do you can go to the s3 bucket and click uh, go to the uh, the base location and you will see the folder is created automatically by the script so click on output and results so there is a success uh, file and the actual result file so i'll save that file so i'll click here and click on download so i'll save it to desktop so what you can do you can go to this particular uh, website parkareader.com 
and once you do that all you have to do is browse for file and give your parquet files so i have chosen parquet because that is the typically uh, what we use in all production environment and so you can see uh, so this is the result so electronics category has total sales of 5019.84 and then home and kitchen second 12019 then clothing has 809 sports and outdoors 769 and books 200 something and finally we'll clean up all the resources so first is to delete the emr cluster so i come here and click on terminate and terminate cluster so this will take care of deleting your ec2 instance uh, and all other things so you don't have to uh, worry about that next is to uh, delete the uh, s3 bucket so i go to the s3 console and go to the buckets select emr demo and click on delete it will say the bucket is not empty so click on empty bucket and copy paste permanently delete and click paste no and exit so now i can uh, delete this particular bucket so click on delete and i will copy the whole name paste the whole name and click on delete bucket and emr ha is has created this bucket for logs also so i can i can first empty it and then i will be able to delete so i'll type copy paste permanently delete and empty exit and then select it and delete the bucket so you have to copy paste the whole bucket name and delete bucket okay next okay we have deleted the logs bucket also and i'll make sure the cluster is getting terminating and there are no buckets and there are few emr rows which it has created so i'll delete those as well so search for iam i'll open this in a new tab so i'll click on roles and these are the this is the instance profile this is one extra from my previous run i will delete that also and service role emr service role so they are basically for the demo it will create one each of uh, one will be instance profile and one will be service role so i'll click delete and copy paste delete and that's all thanks for watching